Several months ago around 1am while on a late night hedonistic YouTube binge, I came across some interesting videos about taking zero notes in medical school. And like any normal human being, I skipped right past them and continued my hedonistic binge because I watch anime and not study videos for fun. But then I started medical school and gave those videos a watch and well, the concepts are very interesting and they make sense I guess. And I figured even though what I do has always worked for me my entire life, it's better to test out something new before the storm hits rather than after. So that's why this week I decided I was going to take zero notes in medical school. Now, of course, before we even start the video, we have to discuss one of the most important questions, and that is, what are notes? And for the sake of this video, I'm going to follow the definition you get when you look on Google, define notes, and that is a brief record of fact, topics, or thoughts written down as an aid to memory. Except I'm going to tweak that ever so slightly. I'm going to make one tweak to that definition. Instead of aid to memory, it's just going to be aid to comprehension. So anything you write down to aid with your comprehension of the material. In addition to pen and paper, it's going to be anything you type on your computer. Because nowadays we're in an electronic age and people type their notes all the time to help aid with their comprehension. So anything you write or type to aid your comprehension outside of like making flashcards or something like that or answering practice questions will count as notes for the sake of this video. Why, hello and welcome to the magical explaining corner where, well, we explain things. Now, the average person probably has a workflow that's pretty similar to this. So you watch the lecture and you take some notes on the lecture and then later you review those notes, review the lecture, do some practice problems, and then you take your test, right? Well, a lot of studies have shown that note taking isn't necessarily the most effective strategy to increase your scores. So well then, People who have a lot of studying to do, for example medical students, have tried to optimize the most effective study strategies in the shortest amount of time possible. So what they do is sort of reallot the time to things that are more effective. So take out that note taking portion, increase the amount of active recall, spaced repetition, and previewing the content, and then testing themselves later on. Effectively reallocating the time spent on taking notes into more effective study strategies later on in the chain. It's a pretty intuitive thing in terms of concept, right? Take out less effective study methods and substitute them with more effective study methods. But does this work for everyone? That's what I'm trying to test out this week. Anyways, the first thing on the list of things to do is to just take a look at your week and see what lectures you even have to, have to attend. And I have no idea so far what my week looks like, so I'm gonna put the schedule up on the side and we'll go over it together. It looks like I have class lectures on Monday, lectures on Wednesday. Pretty much it. There's there's a short lecture on Friday too, but that shouldn't be too bad. So today's actually Sunday. We have three lectures tomorrow on Monday. I'm gonna quickly preview them. So when I preview, I like to first scan the general topic to see if it's hard or easy. And then I like to look up words that I don't know, just so I can look them up, see what they mean, and get more familiar with them. It's important to note the parts of the lectures you don't understand, and you have to pay more attention to those the next day. Okay, so guys, we just finished up with the preview. It took 30 minutes or so to finish up with previewing three lectures, but it was quite an in-depth preview. And I knew for a fact there were times when I was just itching to sort of write certain things down because I felt like it would help me remember it better. But I didn't because this is the no notes for one week challenge, not the do what I normally do for one week challenge. Anyways. So sad, I'm gonna have to leave the notebook at home today. So for lecture, I just listened to what the professors had to say and took zero notes. It was definitely easier to digest the material because of the preview, but there were a few times I zoned out. There were also times that there were just small, comprehension-related details I wanted to write about, and I had to force myself not to. Okay, so I'm back from lecture now, and 
got lunch, and there. I feel like today in lecture, it was slightly more difficult for me to pay attention just because I wasn't writing anything, right? And so my mind spaces out sometimes when I'm not staying focused writing, trying to see what the important details are and the not so important details are. I definitely knew a lot of the content because I previewed yesterday, but I wasn't 100% focused. So when the lecturer had a couple new points that they were bringing out, interesting points, I sort of, sometimes I zoned out and didn't even notice them. But the good thing is that lectures are recorded. So if I were to want to find out more about these little bits and pieces of information that aren't necessarily in the notes, but the lecture talked about, I could just go look back at the recordings. And now I'm gonna go back and just review the lectures from today, go over some of the key notes. And then they're already pre-made Anki cards from the years ahead of us that they made for this week. So later on in the afternoon, I'm gonna go back and look at those Anki cards and see if I can do some of those. But as I review right now, I'm gonna especially just look for terminology because right now what we did isn't very pathway heavy. First, I briefly reviewed the lecture slides from earlier on the day, looking back at the things I might not have learned too well. Then I took a look at the provided notes that the professor gave and answered those practice questions. Then spent around 30 minutes to an hour doing Anki questions. Anyway, so I finished doing my Anki cards and I think it does help a little bit. I Some of the things that, some of the key words that I wasn't quite remembering as well just from looking at the lecture are a little bit fresher in my brain now. There's no lecture tomorrow. Tomorrow is lab and then uh, group case-based learning and then clinical skills. But lecture is again on Wednesday, so we'll try it out again then. So today was our first day in clinical skills, which I'll say went swimmingly average, but afterwards I went to the library just to do a little bit of preview for the next day's material. And of course then we did some more Anki afterwards. On Wednesday, I decided to watch the lecture at home because one of the lectures was pre-recorded, which meant I could save some commute time if I didn't go in person to class. And of course, no notes while watching the lecture, trying to just remain completely focused as I watch the lecture. Now on Thursday, there was a clinical skills small group and afterwards I went to the library because it's a little quieter. I just worked on answering my part for a bunch of group questions that we had that pertain to our quiz. And afterwards, I finished my Anki cards for the day. Okay, so after a long week of doing a lot of Anki practice questions, doing a lot of active recall, doing a lot of retrieval practice, occasionally studying with friends and stuff like that. Tomorrow's the quiz and we'll see how we do and that, and technically that determines a lot of how successful this process was, so yeah. On quiz day, I woke up nice and early, listened to some music to hype myself up and actually ate breakfast and drank water in the morning. So I really only have one metric to compare this week to last week where I did things my normal way and on that one metric we actually did better. So on the quiz that I just took we scored higher than last week which, which is a good thing. Okay guys so the quiz results have been out for a couple hours now and I think now is a good time to do a little bit of reflecting on the week. Now first of all even accounting for the differences in the quiz, the averages and everything which actually went up this week compared to last week we still did ever so slightly better this week than last week, although the results are almost negligible. And both taken alone are still very, very successful scores. And uh, I, I, as a very traditional pen and paper guy, I like to take all my notes on paper, look at everything 
on paper. I don't like to do too much stuff electronically. I almost didn't want this strategy to work because I, like a couple years down the road, I want to I wanted to have an excuse just to be like, oh, I didn't, I didn't do it because I, I tried it and it didn't work for me, you know? But it did work for me and if you're someone that already has a very electronic workflow that does everything online, this strategy might be excellent for you. But I will say that compared to my traditional strategy, taking no notes felt a lot more uncomfortable than me. I feel like there were times that in order to aid my that taking notes would have greatly helped my comprehension of the material. Because first of all, I use my notes as just like a hodgepodge, somewhere where I write down whatever I'm thinking, whatever I want, just to help sort of synthesize the ideas and string them all together. But something I have learned is that if you're someone that takes extensive notes, you should probably consider cutting that down to the bare minimum, just the minimum of what it takes to help aid with your comprehension. And there were a lot of times this week that I felt like I sort of lacked a little bit of mental clarity where I was the ideas were salt or the ideas were all sort of in my head but I sort of but I had a little bit of trouble just connecting them all even though I understood them it just felt like things were a tiny bit fuzzy because I didn't put pen to paper and something else I learned from this week is that this is a strategy that probably is best when you just have an, a very large overload of material but if you don't have that much material let's say you're just a undergrad student or let's say you just started on med school or it's a less busy block of med school, right? This is, you can probably, you should probably just go back to doing whatever strategy feels most comfortable to you because then it'll feel like less work and you might have a little bit more mental clarity associated with things. But during those weeks that are very busy, it's overload and you need to be really efficient, this is probably the strategy to use. And I will say after this, I'm probably just gonna go back to doing what I've always been doing. And even just taking notes the way I do doesn't really add that much extra time, maybe like a couple minutes a day compared to this strategy. But when things get, but if and when things get a lot busier and a lot, there's a lot more information to learn in a shorter period of time, it's very, it's very likely that I will jump ship to this strategy because something I'm trying to do in med school is just be a lot more adaptable and flexible to other learning styles. That way I can just perform the best that's possible. And something else is that this week I did have a lot of time because of this to just do things that I wanted to do. I could exercise, I could go out to eat, hang out with friends, things like that. So in the end, my conclusion is just that if you already have an, a very electronic workflow, if you're trying to optimize your efficiency, and if you have just a very large overload of information, this is an excellent strategy. But let's say you have a little bit more time, you're trying to take things easy, you want to just do what's most comfortable for you but still perform best. You, you might want to just stick with your traditional strategy. As always, if you like this video, like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.